Now at six, a 13-year-old boy becoming the latest victim of what's become a disturbing trend of gun violence in Durham. That teenager hit in the leg by a bullet while inside his own apartment last night. Durham police say several shots were fired in the parking lot of Brentwood Park off Junction Road. And some people who live there say this is not the first time. Tim Pulliam at DPD headquarters now talking to neighbors who, who are telling you, Tim, uh, enough is enough. Absolutely, Steve. And Durham police say that the 13-year-old boy shot will be okay. But it is the fear and the aftermath of the shooting, Steve, that neighbors say they live with every day. Look at this. Bullet holes are all over the place in Brentwood apartments. Homes and vehicles shot up. We live like that. It's the way a lot of us live. It. And it's sad. We just pray. Thank God. Keep moving. Annie lives with the trauma of gun violence day in and day out. Yesterday was no different. And you literally was ducking last night. Yeah. You better duck. Hit the flow. And you hit the flow. You, the minute you get up, you, you know, you check yourself. You know, okay, everything's okay now. Durham police say a 13-year-old boy was shot in the leg inside his home just before midnight. There are a few cameras in the community, but neighbors say they don't work. Right now, police say the shooter is unknown. Annie is not surprised. Pop, 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 pop. Shoot! Don't they come in shooting? You know, so they, they, they can't catch it. My granddaughter laying in the bed and sleeping. She got shot in the bed. You know. And when was this? This was last year. Ducking and hiding from bullets is apparently what you do in Brentwood, which is located off of Junction Road near Highway 98. Annie learned that 14 years ago when she moved in. She showed us where a bullet once flew through her living room and into the kitchen. It's so bad. Sometimes she's afraid to go to the mailbox. And that's not all. You want to go to church at nighttime? But you're scared. Don't you come here at 10, 11 o'clock? This time they started shooting. So what you do? Stay home. Annie doesn't want to leave her home. Okay, okay. This is what she can afford. So she lives in fear of the next shooting, hoping it will all end. And Steve Lauren, Annie is hoping Durham police can put a substation in the neighborhood or close to it. Call Crime Stoppers if you have any information that can lead to an arrest. Live in Durham, Tim Pulliam, ABC 11 Eyewitness News. Tim, thank you. And